have a little shop around. I just need these. It's Vlogmas. What I picked up from Primark. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at it. Let's go shopping. Good morning guys, happy Vlogmas day seven. I'm just about to open my advent calendar and I thought we could do it together. Loki just want to get right in here to be honest while I'm trying to think of my future self. So we're on day, we've got to get day eight out here. I think it's going to be a ball. Chocolate for breakfast, yes please. Mmm, that one's incredible. Okay, guys, happy... When are you watching this? Happy Saturday. Hope you guys are all good and well. I'm going to try and have this live, like, early on Saturday, so hopefully you guys can watch it before you go. I haven't about Christmas shopping. I really need to get myself ready. I've just been spending the morning editing, to be honest, just catching up and making sure I'm all organised. It's about half past eight the remnant of my spearmint tea that i had this morning psa got this from asda and i feel like things never have rabbit on and i have a rabbit teddy since i was a baby so i had to get this i was like hell yes i have to have that so it's currently friday for me i've got a busy day planned first things on the agenda are i need to take sasha for a walk and i also need to get myself ready for the day then me and Mia have got to record the podcast. We're going to go and get an outfit pick at the outlet. And I want to get her to try the 200 degrees matcha. Because I tried it on the weekend and it was so good. So those are our plans this morning. And then we're going to have a really fun afternoon together. And I'm really looking forward to it. So I'm just loving Vlogmas for the fact it like makes me do something fun pretty much every day. And I love it. Like It's given me such a purpose. Imagine if I become a daily vlogger. I mean, I, technically I, I am a daily vlogger. But I just don't upload daily. Like... I obviously vlog typically Monday to Saturday every single week. So I kind of am a daily vlogger, but these like quick turnarounds, let me tell you, are something else. But it's so fun. Like it feels like I've been doing this for so long, but then I'm like, it's only the 8th of December. It's like it's literally been seven uploads so far. But it's just been so much fun. So I'm definitely going to do it every year. Don't even worry about it next year and the year after and the year after and the year after. I can't wait. So, yeah, let me throw a fit on. We are going to go and take Sasha for a walk and then we're going to get home and get ourselves ready. Look, such a state. So let's turn this around. <laughs> I'm back from the walk. I'm about to do my hair and I thought we could do it together because I got a few questions when I showed you guys that I got the Mark Hill like round brush. Got a few questions to try it on the channel. So I thought I would and I, I've only used it once. I used it the day that me and Mia went to London. Um, I like didn't do it properly. Like, it was so rushed. But you know what? It gave me such a lovely like finish on my hair. Actually, let me just put a bit of heat protectant on before I partition it. And even like I, when I got sort of home and looked at my hair in the mirror, I was like, oh, I didn't realise that I'd had these lovely like flicks on my hair because I'd had my fur coat on. So I actually think it's low-key a slay. But I got ready and did my makeup. And um, the reason I didn't film was because I was on the phone to the council because our boiler and our rental is currently having issues. So we were supposed to be having it fixed, well, repaired, hopefully today. Um... And we had like this engineer go in and he basically was like refusing to part because he believes he has to have a permit. And I was trying to explain to him, you don't need to have a permit, but whatever. So this is what I was doing. Just like this. I mean, it's probably not that hot yet, but. I was sort of just like rolling it through the ends like this. It's not that hot yet but this is what i was doing and it just gives like nice flicks look see like on this side it just looks like smoother and it's got a nice flick going on so that's literally what i was doing i feel like i could probably watch some tiktok tutorials and get some better you know um techniques but right now there we go sorry i have to keep standing up because i haven't got my tripod up here see just like nice blow dry flicks going on 
and I like it because I love my Babyliss one but obviously it's got the it's like more of like a hair dryer so this is nice to be and it doesn't work as well on dry hair because obviously it's meant to be like done on wet so it's nice to have one to do on dry hair so yeah let me just partition this Oh my god, guys, we started watching the, like, Squid Games challenge. Ollie's family were watching it at the start of the week or whenever it came out. We did watch one episode, was it last weekend? But, like, we just didn't really, like, we didn't get into it that much. But then his family were watching it and it looked so good. We were like, oh my gosh, we have to watch that. So we started watching it last night. But I know the like, winner's been revealed. Um, so I'm just trying not to look. But if you're looking for something to watch that's just like easy, because we really, really enjoyed like the Squid Game series. Um, it's actually really good. So there's a good little thing to watch if you feel uninspired with TV right now. Because I feel like there's nothing really coming out. And, oh, nothing really coming out at the minute that's like, you know, like new seasons of anything. I feel like we're on a bit of a lull. Like when you're on Netflix, what's new? <laughs> I don't know but it's really good it's basically like all the challenges that they did in squid games but obviously they don't get shot if they see how nice they just obviously don't get shot if they don't um complete the challenge but they like pretend to get shot it's like an ink pact and apparently in their contract they have to like agree that when it's their time to you know die that they act dead because I was like it's so but it's like low-key cringy because some people would be like <laughs> and I'm like we know you're not dead that's what we've got so far I mean, I don't think I'm great with it, but I feel like it just smooths my hair out nicely. Yeah, this side definitely looks better than this side, so that's what the matters, hey? Okay, what do we think? I think that looks very cute, easy. I would put it in a roller, but I don't even know where my rollers are. And I feel like it's like they're getting too long to like really benefit but i might hairspray it i would highly rate it i mean i don't think i've got everything out of it like i think i could definitely make more use of it and i think i could make my hair look like better and i think if it was more like short and like boxy and layery then i could like you know get some good sh good shape going on you know so i would honestly rate it very highly and i think if you're looking for something for christmas it's good because this is like the pick and mix one so this is not an ad, by the way. I just got it from the PLT showroom, but they have like a waiver on top. So it's really good because you just could buy this and then like just keep asking for different heads for your birthday or Christmas. Or, you know, you could get like the rain brush, then you could get the curler, then you could get the waiver, then you could get, I don't know if they do straighteners probably, you know, and then you build yourself up a right little collection and it's just so handy. So I would highly recommend that. Right, I'm going to throw an outfit on and then we're going to head out. I think I know what I'm going to wear as long as it looks cute always a challenge <laughs> sorry i know it's dark in here but i got this top sent to me by a brand called imprint we trust i think it is and it's this really cute bow top but they accidentally sent me two so i've messaged them to say like i love the top you've accidentally sent me two like i'm happy to send it back obviously but i was like i also would love to give it away on my youtube so i'm just waiting for them to say yeah and then hopefully I can give one away to you guys because I obviously don't need two but it's so cute and I know we're all like so obsessed with bows right now so I really need to declutter my room so I thought this would be cute I was thinking with some um jeans and then maybe just like a trench not a trench coat but like a long line coat or something okay I don't have I should I really wanted to order this like long like maxi fur coat from boohoo but i haven't so i think it looks cute like this i've just tucked it into these blue jeans and then this is from boohoo these jeans are really old miss pap like a few years old but they're like my favorite they're really big for me now 
I, don't, I think they were big when I first bought them, to be honest. I've not been here. Like, I've lost so much weight because I haven't. But um, I don't know if they've stretched or what, but I think they must have always been a bit big because I have to, like, do the bottom trick. But they're just such a nice, like, leg fit. So I just deal with it, to be honest. But how cute is the top? I wish I would have got the smaller size now because it's quite big, but tucked in it's fine. So this is what I'm going to wear. And I feel like it's cute for sisters and souls too. Off to record the podcast, but we're going to go and get a matcha first. So I will see you guys there. Yeah. I've ordered three matchas. I'm excited for me to try it because this on Sunday was literally the best matcha I'd had for a long time. And so I was like, oh, this is really, you know. You smell like, like um, OG Jodie. What have you got on? What have I got Just a random You're decadent Have I? Yeah, I have. I have. I have. I have. I have. I have. Oh, thank you. I can tell. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you smell like the OG Jodie. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I can tell it now. really lasts on you. I know when you got it on. Compliments me, man. Yeah. <laughs> came through his PR today. Ooh. So I thought you could turn it and see what you thought. Okay. I feel like you were like I've, it. Yeah, I've always wanted to... Oh, my God. Always well, yeah, we smelled them. This. And this is what I was telling them. Like, such a strange... Like, like no, like, in a good way. Like, it was so strange having this come through the door. Because I was like... We were looking at these yeah. and they're like... Seemed such a bougie perfume and it's coming to the house. Like, I was like... Yeah, bit of a really pinch me, you know? Yeah. Ready? Mmm, really nice. Isn't that different? What's it called? Um, Sparkling light chai. Yeah, and in it is really like that sandalwood. Very sweet. Yeah, but like but not too yeah, like not childish. Like childish. It's got black currant, light chai, rose, candied violet, sugared amber, and sandalwood in it. Nice, isn't it? Mm, and lovely packaging. bottles as well. Yeah, and even that. Yeah, I make lovely gifts. Yes. I saw um, you know what SJ wears. I can't yeah. remember which one she had, but she, I'm sure she had one a few weeks ago and it, it smelled really, well, not smelled nice. it, but she said it was unreal. Nice, isn't it? Mm. I was like, ooh. Because like, you don't often find like a sweet fragrance that smells nice in yeah, your winter, no. but I feel like you can get that. away with that. It's almost giving like sugar plum vibes. Mm, sugar and sugar and spice and all things nice. That's right. Really. That's what are you making us? I'm making you, well, I was going to make a hot chocolate bread and match, so I was just going to make some green tea. Oh no. Is that alright? Yeah. Not as good, is it? Do you want to try it? What, the hot chocolate? Sorry. We might feel a bit sick, That's but... That's not our fault, because we've just had the matcha. Why don't you do one? What? To, to try and share. Because okay. I feel like it's going to be sicky anyway, because it's like vanilla white. That can be a bit sicky, can't it? <laughs> Possibly. I don't know. It could be wrong. wrong. We are just recording the podcast. I've just uploaded Bob Mistake 8. Um, getting that ready for you guys I just need to do a thumbnail but we're going to record the podcast this week's podcast sneak peek is like a how to have a hot girl winter so we're just going to be talking about like being your best self like how to make the most of the season like in terms of the way we look the way we feel what we do you know so that'll be a nice ep to record we did all of our notes on the train home so we're very inspired right now and um, mia's gonna make us hot chocolate me too because it was like a job now but like, we just don't have to stress we can just sit and record yeah no pressure yeah press play and we're away gonna do a sneak peek of what we're gonna do next week all right tell them what we're gonna do okay next week We've got a few things planned, just, you know, to keep Vlogmas getting excited. We are going to go to the Grinch Cafe. Grinch? Did I say that right? I don't know. The Grinch Cafe in Primark, Birmingham. Because we've really wanted to go and I feel like it'll be a really nice day that we can go and try all the different foods. Um, I'm sure they do, like, big, like, over-the-top milkshakes. Um, we're going to go to Vista Village because we've got... Well, I've been once, but I've been like four once years too. ago. And the time you went, it was really Horrendous. bad. It had like snowed and I remember texting you like, you're not going, are you? And you were like, yeah. And it was horrendous. You didn't know. And like, this, it was freezing. It was in COVID. We yeah. took Raw with us. Did you? <laughs> yeah, we took with how we had. And like, they, to be fair, like, Raw was not an issue. No. Because they're related in every yeah, shop. it's like at the outlet, isn't it? So like this nice wasn't an issue, though. but I felt sorry for him because it was cold. But we didn't want to leave him at home all day, you know, and because it was in COVID, like you couldn't really ask anyone to look after yeah. him. Um, and like you had to join QR codes and stuff. Didn't you? Whereas when I went, it was just normal life. So it was it was good, but it was like probably four years ago. I think I think I was trying to remember it was my nineteenth birthday. 
because I think it was one of the first times I'd done like quite a long drive. Because right. when you're like 17, 18, I never drove anywhere that far, you know, just around Birmingham. And I think I was like, right, this is my, you know. Were you nervous? No, because I was with my mum. Right. But I was like, come on then, you know, driving to Vista on my birthday. It, it was my idea because it was the year that Ollie surprised me with um, New York. Oh, really? New yeah. York? You've been to New York? No, because it got cancelled. <laughs> I was going to say. How sad. You put a few trips go. got cancelled, did not they? Yeah. So many Santorini, I see New York. way of thinking about this situation. Yeah, she's got her mantra thing on. Yeah, she's got his sign to get I mantra. need to download it. And then you can add it as a widget on your... Oh, see, Boohoo have got 25% off everything now. We're not kidding. No, Mia just gave us a Boohoo haul. Yeah, look, then you get your little quotes. It's really nice. They refresh every hour. Okay, we are about to record the podcast. Podcast! I just, I just, <laughs> just tried. Mia got this through from Space and Kai, correct? Yeah. She just freshly applied to show them. Rare beauty. She tried to order the blush, but for some reason they sent her the lip oil. And this is the viral colour, Hope. Our thoughts are lovely colour, lovely consistency, but it feels matte and it's made my tongue tingle. I Selena. What does that mean? I gotta keep my up. Selena. <laughs> <laughs> I, so I'm not quite sure. I just don't like, like the, the overall taste of it, you know, in my mouth. But this strong 9 out of 10, I really like it, but I think it like easily gets sickable. But I think that's with all white hot chocolates, to be honest. Did you send oh no quicker? I'm just about to. What? You I've been adding to your Christmas list and it's oh, right, right at the sorry. top. Um send me the notes. Okay, besties, podcast is all wrapped. We have got another pod, um, episode on the way. So I am actually gonna go out this afternoon. I thought it would be fun to go and have a little look around Primark. I could do with some new earrings. I've literally got no earrings, which is why. I haven't even got any in because I've just been like losing backs and then losing like one of the pair and I've literally got nothing. So if we go to Stafford, we've got Primark, we've got H&M. We could also like have a little look, maybe like TK Maxx or Home Sense or just like somewhere like that. It's like quite a lovely um, retail park. So I thought we could go there this afternoon, have a little shop around and I could show you in Primark and H&M and things. So I thought it'd be fun to go on a little bestie shopping trip. I've just been and just checked on the dogs. My brother's actually home, so it's fine. They're not on their own. I just felt really bad, but it's okay because i knew i'd like been out this morning and then to go out this afternoon but my brother's got them so it's fine so yeah i thought we're going a little bestie shopping trip have a little look around primark h&m all of our faves um i also yeah so i need earrings and honestly just to see what the new in bits are. i could also do with like some like cute scarves if they've got any me i've got a really gorgeous pink scarf let me drive to stafford and then i will see you guys there Okay guys, we are here. I suddenly am so hungry. I need a wee. I am really trying to get my boiler fixed and it's all a bit confusing, but anyway, I'm here. So let's go shopping. Just see them sleigh bells ring a ling ding ding ling ling do shining in mini ming bang boo. It's lovely where before sleigh ride together. Oh shit, my lord. Oh, it's actually not as bad weather as I thought it would be. I thought it would be like a lot colder than this. I mean, it doesn't feel great, but it doesn't feel cold. Like a coat and I'm fine. I'll give you an OTD when we are by a mirror or something, but. That bus driver just beat to the horn and the lady put her hand up and he just drove past. I think that meant stop. Hey, cheeky. Rita Aurora is back slaying the game by the looks of it. These jeans are cute. They'd be nice for like a Christmas meal. They're £30. I do feel like that's a lot for a Primark, but they do look nice. I'd like these in like a light blue as well. This looks cute. Little cropped up. I like the little like distressed raw edges. What else have they got? Cute greyish fur coat, £40. That's so soft. Oh, I like this jumper. Yeah, this looks really lovely. This is £17. Feels really thick though. I love the black and white. That feels so thick. That'll be nice just with like black leggings, Uggs, big long coat. Oh, if this red coat was longer, it would be really nice. I feel like it's like an awkward length. But it just like greys the knee. But honestly, if they did that maxi. Oh god. I knocked it off. If they did this in a maxi, it's 
it would be really cute. I feel like it's just like too warm for then. Yeah, it wouldn't even like be over the neck. <laughs> okay, I'm on the front for hoops. They've got this, oh, they are missing a pair, but they've got this six pack for £4.50. All different shades, which are cute. And it's nice because I've got like my, oh, they've got the pink hearts. I feel like the pink hearts looked bigger. Do we like the hearts? I feel like they should be bigger and then they'd be cute. Like they'd be nice maybe in the second. I feel like, I, in my head I was thinking they were bigger. Mm. They can be a maybe. Um, they've got the, I just saw the Bottega ones, the dupes, but only in silver. But they're cute. Oh, these are nice, but very summery. But I love those, especially those ones. How nice would they be for holiday? Little three pack. They've got these ones. These are like the only gold hoops they've got. I think it might have to be these. I like I never spray Primark fragrances. I don't even know what they... Okay, but this is rose blush. I bet there's some dupes. Mm, that's okay. This is called Citroen Aqua. This one's like washing powder, but not in a positive way. They've got Santal Dream. Mm. Mm, that one's empty. This one's called White Frost. Which they did like a backrack. That one's empty too. Come on, Primark. Powder blush hair and body mist. Mmm, that's nice. Oh, that smells very sweet. That actually smells good. This taboo. If anything was going to be like that, I would guess this just because it's red. They haven't even got any. This is given Olaplex dupe. They've got the pre shampoo. They've got a moisture mask. I imagine they've got shampoo and conditioner too somewhere. Wow, these are giving. Let's wear this for the whole month of December. These are. Mm, they don't have a price. T oh, £10. That's so good. I love the pink. They've also got like a cable knit beige. And they've also got these like snowflake ones and then some leopard print. For these, for £10 is such a good price. And also, I love these star ones. Also, I love these. I love a satin and the red is really cute. 15 pound. These are giving Victoria's Secret if I ever did see. A little OOTD of the day. This is from Boom. It's just like an oversized bomber. This is that top that I showed you this morning. It's called Imprint We Trust. I think this is so small, so I'd say get extra small because it's quite big. The jeans are old Miss Pap. Got me his bag still from London. And I just threw on my ultra minis just to bring the, you know, the brains together. Oh my god, no. They've got gingham. <gasps> oh my god, I have to get them. I have to. If you're looking for a classic Christmas PJ, the red one's incredible. I've just seen that they've got these. They're like a soft flannel. They've got them in pink, but they've also got this in green, and I'm, I just need these. These are incredible. I can't believe they have them. They also have these ones, like more of a stripe. And they have these ones. With like a bit of. Oh, I haven't got the ribbon around. With like a bit of a pink running through, which are really cute. We're going upstairs, and upstairs there is. Homeware, the kids' stuff, obviously irrelevant, but also men's. And I was going to see if I had any like cute knitted jumpers. I feel like sometimes the men's are better, like more like granddad jumpers than the women's, possibly. Okay, it's not so far giving the vibes. I mean, who's buying that? I'm sorry. Yeah, they don't have a lot, do they? These look nice. I'm not keen on any of the colours, really, though. Wait, they've got like a little gift like a gift section which is actually really cute and these would actually make the loveliest presents for like your girlfriends or your sisters they're all um scented candles with star signs on and they're actually from six pounds to three pounds right now they look really cute oh so it's earth fire or air so then you get them like with their star sign on and they've also got these ones which are really cute little miss memes oh, no it's little miss always on holiday this one's funny too. Little Miss only popped in for socks. 
These are lovely, these microfiber cloths mm. with the little Christmas trees on. That is £2 for a pack of five. That's actually very good. Oh my god, the Christmas candle selection here is so much better than the one in Birmingham. It's literally been ransacked the other day. I wonder if that's nice. This is Winter Wonderland. And that one's nice. This one looks cute. This is giving the like Asda one that I have got, the White Company Jupas. Cinnamon and spiced vanilla. If me and me were in a candle, that would be us. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Nice camera, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. Got to get all the blog plus content. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you very much. There Have you a are. lovely day. And to you. Bye. See you later. A lovely boy. <laughs> Run to H&M for really cute Christmas pajamas. They're literally all over half price. They're from thirty-two pound to fifteen. They've got green ones. These ones are really cute too. They're quite soft as well. This looks so soft. I actually saw one in North Face that looked very similar to this, but obviously so much more expensive, 40 pound. Love the color of this. This is 45 pound. It's like a lovely like stone color. I also love this. I've seen it so much. I feel like I just wouldn't wear it that much, but it's 32 pound. It's like one of those things you'd wear like once at Christmas day. Oh my God, red coats. Yay, 55 pound. This is so nice. Has anyone got one of these by them now? It's like the new like fancy sports direct, but they've got like brands in there like Hugo Boss, Tommy, like CP company put quite a lot of boys in the family so I was just wondering if I could get them anything from here but I don't know I feel a bit lost in here I can't lie. okay back in the car H&M wasn't all that great Primark was okay I mean I did definitely purchase a few things which I'll show you when we're home but I keep losing everything like I keep losing my key oh they're in there I keep losing my keys did I have a wee no tell me why i've just shopped for over an hour desperate for a wee and it did not even click until i was back in the car why why did i not just go i literally walked past like multiple toilets and it just didn't even think about it you know i was too obsessed with the shopping and now i'm like why <laughs> why i thought that we could have a little christmas jingle sing song if you guys are up for that you know just getting the vlog of spirit and all that i mean it's the weekend for me now you know friday afternoon i'm going to start checking out not really because we're on this shit constantly because it's vlogmas weekends when do they exist <laughs> no i'm only joking i literally always spend saturday saturday is genuinely my busiest working day i mean now it's vlogmas it's not so intense because instead of editing like three hours worth of content it's like obviously just a daily vlog whereas normally i'm having to edit like a weekly vlog hot xmas on so christmas is long long ago full time it's honestly been a hot minute since i listened to songs that weren't christmas like it's literally all i listen to so it's kind of nice to have something different on for just a sec you know just one journey you know, we don't have to be Christmas angels all the time. Be careful, be careful, be careful. I wanna get married like the Kirby Stefan. I could've did what you did to me, to you, a few. I gave you everything. Tam, oh, Tay, it's over. Then she said, Tam, you must have died. Cause I just came to relax one time. Show them, baby, how you dress and make it shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody real, it's hard to find. Someone who loves you. I don't know where this side of me has come out, but it's really here today. Like Looking look into my eyes, tell me what you Like I'm bust over, I'm going to rush. I'm with ice, birds. Believe it, she's going to die. I make money, Allah. Ring, ring. I drop food, baby, ring. She told me she was leaving. I gave her too many reasons. Said 12 pounds for two tickets. Okay, right, I am home. I've just literally chilled with the dogs for a little bit. I've just fed Sash and she's just eating that now. So I thought I'd come upstairs and give you a haul. So I've got quite a few things. First of all, I've got a parcel from L Leoa. I'm not sure, the label. But it's a lovely girl who follows me on Instagram and this is her brand. And she asked if she could send me some bits from her ba new basics collection, I think. And I was like, oh my God, of course, I would love to receive 
so I'm so excited to see what she sent. Hey Jodie, thank you for letting me send you some of our new collection. I hope you love them. Please tag us. Um, you can tell your followers to use code Jodie10 for 10% 10 off. Love Jamie, thank you so much. That is the spelling of the brand. I wish I could pronounce it, but I honestly think I'll just butcher it. So, what did she send? Wow, I love this colour. Oh, this is giving, we know the vibes. Wow, that is incredible. It's like a dove grey. I feel like I was really missing this colour in my collection. Lovely. Okay, leggings, we love. And what is this? Oh my God, is this a long sleeve top? It's a long sleeved. <gasps> no, I love that. Oh, I love how the logo is just like so minimal. It's so minimalistic. I love it. <gasps> That colour, stunning. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with that. What else is in here? Oh, this feels thick. Oh, is this a tracksuit? Oh my gosh, I didn't even know she did tracksuits. Oh my gosh, obsessed. Wow, black sweatshirt. How cool. This is given like sporty and rich Adenola. Look at the back, how cool. And then these are the jogs. Oh, I really needed just a go-to black tracksuit. I feel like this is answered my prayers it feels really good quality as well i love that i think she sent all of this in a size small so these are the joggies we love that and then there's something else in here oh a tote bag and socks oh my gosh lovely these are the socks and then she also sent a tote bag i have got to say i love me a tote bag i find them so useful especially for like content days and stuff and like coffee dates when I want to like, I don't know, go to the coffee shop and like edit a video, I can chuck my Mac in here and be good to go. So that is so kind. Honestly, thank you so much. I know like how much it means to send things from a small business. So I appreciate that so much. That's so kind. This feels incredible and you will definitely catch me wearing it on my Instagram. Then this is from Amazon. I'm having cheese for my dinner and I'm so hungry, but Ollie's got to go to the gym. So I'm just trying to like faff before I start cooking. Okay, I ordered just some new batteries. Kind of boring, but a necessity for me. I ordered a new battery charger and I ordered one. It's like for triple batteries. Just because I've only got two. I used to have four. I now I've only got two. I don't know where the other ones have got to. So I needed a new. So yeah, battery charger. Boring. And this, I have no idea what this is, to be honest delivered to my neighbour no way is this what I think it is oh my oh my god oh my gosh there's so much no Oh my god, so they asked if they could send me their foundation and I was like, it's the only one I use right now. I was like, are you kidding me? And then they had like a new concealer coming out. But they've sent, look, they have sent this huge box of stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Liquid li eyeshadows, lipsticks, the foundation, blush. Oh. <gasps> Oh my gosh, guys, this is unreal. Sorry, we ran out of storage. Also, excuse the state of me. I don't know what has gone wrong today, but I'm not feeling cute. That is unreal. I literally was just expecting the foundation and concealer and I was already gassed. The fact that they sent all of this. I got, oh my gosh, is this a red lipstick? Why does Giorgio Armani like just slay packaging? Look at that. He's not like giving like Christmas party, Christmas date night. They're just such a bougie brand. Oh my gosh, I feel so lucky. Right, let's have a little look at what other lipsticks we've got. Oh, this is like a proper like red. Oh, look, more of like a brownie. This is called True 111. So we've got Elegant Romance and then this is True. That looks really nice. I feel like I'd really like that. I don't, <laughs> what has happened? I think it's my hair because I threw it off in a pony. I didn't even know that they did this. This is a hydrating primer. Luminous Silk Hydrating Primer. Oh, this is their blush in 51. Oh, that looks like a nice, like, sheer, but, like, 
my UV pink. Whoa! Look at that. Is that not giving Barbie? Oh my gosh, look. Oh my God, that is going to look so nice. Oh my gosh, I just, I'm in complete and utter shock, like WTF. So I got the Luminous Silk in 4.5. I think my usual shade is 5, so I thought I'll go day one for like the days where I'm not wearing tan. No, this is their Glow Enhancer. I didn't even know they had all these products. Ooh, look at that. It looks like a bit like a flawless filter. Oh, it's like a... I guess you mix that in with their foundation or maybe like put it on before foundation. Then we've got the concealer. I got this in shade 3.75. Okay, I feel like I've actually, I know you can't really see it in my hand, but I feel like I actually guessed quite well. Because I've never seen the concealer in person, so I didn't know what like shade to go for. And um, then we've got eye tints. We've got two eye tints. We've got, this is Shell. Oh my gosh, wow. It's like a champagne. And then this is Rose. Whoa, that's like a reflective purple. Okay. Look, can you see that? It's like a reflective like purpley. Slay, thank you so much, Armani. That has literally like blown me. Let me just rub that into my hand now. That seems like a problem from the shower. That has literally blown me away. Like I've actually put up. It makes me literally giddy, like the fact that Armani had know who I am, know my address, and had thought we will send her things like, what the hell? What the hell? And then finally, Primark haul. I thought I'd show you what I picked up from Primark. So, I got the earrings that I showed you. These were only £2.50. And they do say autumn, winter 23, which I imagine means they will be in there if you do happen to go in. They're quite a chunky, like, small... Not small, but, like, they haven't got much of a curve. They're, like, quite, like... They're a chunky girl. I know it won't focus. <laughs> Try that again. Oh, Sony, Sony, why? And there we go. See, they're quite chunky, really cute. So those were two pound fifty, and honestly, I just needed a pair. So I was not going to have. To, I I had to get some. And then these are the pajamas I got. I can't wait to put these on. I'm going to have a shower, and then I'm going to put them on. But I really love gingham at the minute, and I also really love like sage green. I feel like it's such a gorgeous colour. So I got these, and these are like my favourite pajamas and um, they're like really like soft like brushed cotton almost and these are literally 15 pound i got them in a small which is the 10 to 12 and they just fit really nicely they're what the same as like my red ones i've got black ones pink ones I've got so many of these because they just wash really well are really comfortable and i love them so that was a big fat haul i think that's everything i've had the last couple of days and that i haven't shown you i want to take my makeup off i want to have a shower i want to get in my pajamas and then we're going to cook dinner <laughs> not these pajamas being like 10 times just better than the other ones like they've got a ribbon like drawstring they just feel like thicker like they've upped their quality so much i'm obsessed like they feel so much more expensive like almost like i could imagine this being in m s in next almost honestly like it's giving expensive this is not giving 15 pound pajama from primark i mean i don't think just like the you know like my red ones i don't think they give 15 pound for primark either but these honestly are so much better like they feel unreal i'm shook i am just putting on i've been just putting this on my face to be honest as a moisturizer e45 i've been putting on in the mornings and of the evenings and my skin <laughs> has been completely clear and that's look, the only, I haven't been using any serums for about oh, probably a week. Um, I've still been using the Kylie skin under my eyes, more so because I just like the like glow and hydration it adds underneath the eye. I don't think it's essential, but I do really like it. And especially on holiday, like I really like, like if I wanted to do like a no makeup evening or, you know, if you just wanted your skin to look super alive, like it really did that in the days for me with no makeup on. So love that. So I was using this by the Inky List. It's the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. But I haven't for a, probably a week or so. And the skin is skinning. So she might be a pass. 
And that is it for my skincare done. I'll just add some Laneige lip balm, but... some mashed up sweet potatoes i just bite them i put them in the microwave for like five minutes and then just bite them for about half an hour and i just like smash it up i'm gonna top it with a little bit of smashed avocado and some cheese and that is it Yum. it's gone a bit peak tongue i was just like trying to like get all my stuff you know sort my life out a little bit i was trying to tidy my room and i was like where is my sd card reader i just don't know like and to be you know and it's like it could be in so many places because my room is currently so cluttered and like i've been to and fro in and it could just could be anywhere and I was like, right, let's not like just ponder on this lost item. So I've just ordered. So Ollie's just gone to get me one. And apparently it, we heard on the um, news while we were eating dinner that look at the sight of me. That's why Ollie's had to go in because I've got my slippers on, my fur coat and these Primark pyjamas. I was like, would you mind just running in? Um, we heard on the news that it's the biggest ever lottery tonight it's like 200 million it's like the record so i was like imagine if we become millionaires from the lottery like wild and ollie i i looked at ollie when it said and he was like someone at work told me to have a go and i was like well we must we can't miss out so he's got in there for three things to pick up my sd card reader i'll probably find it tomorrow but to be honest the one i'm using at the minute is pretty shit so like quite dodgy you only have to like knock it and it like ejects and this means nothing i'm sure unless you like edit videos but then like, i'm always really worried that because you don't eject it properly that the clips might get corrupt and like it just stresses me out so like when i'm important i'm like nobody move nobody go near the laptop like i have to announce it to anyone who's around me i'm like don't go near the laptop please don't move the laptop like please like it really puts me on edge so i needed a new one anyway it's about time i ordered one so this is just like pushed me to do it which is fine so that's firstly secondly is to get a lottery ticket that's what we were just saying he said do you want one too and i was like no get us one together but i don't know if he'll get us one separately or what um but i think it draws at eight it's quarter to our mantra for the moment is i make the right choices every time <gasps> yeah we do we make the right lottery number choices imagine if this vlogmas actually turns into i won the lottery what would oh and third thing before i just start talking about the lottery winnings third thing is i said i'd like a fizzy drink tonight because i don't feel like have i had one had that can of seven up at one, one but to be honest because of the waltzers kind of ruined it for me so what was i going to say if i won the lottery right here right now I mean, it goes without saying, we would, you know, we donate to charity. I would donate a big portion of it to bowel cancer. You know, we do all the good things. We donate to charities and I really would. Like, I'd sort my family out. Like, I'd pay my mum's mortgage off. I would, you know, I'd do all the things that we all dream of doing. You know, buy us a holiday home abroad and all of that. But let's actually get down to the nitty gritty. What would we actually buy? I would buy we're talking materialistic here i would buy myself a g-wagon a g-wagon was just parked here and i was like whoa that's stunning i buy myself a g-wagon or just yeah i think i would i think if it was lottery i'm talking like a molly like i would buy myself a g-wagon because i feel like they just look so bougie then we're going to talk about like a rolls royce something bougie a bentley a leah's face vibes then we're going to go into chanel we're going to buy ourselves a few classic flaps in different colors um, I'm going to buy myself some Louis Vuitton luggage. 
lunch, we're talking holdalls, we're talking duffel bags, you know, I'm going to kick myself out, LV. And then, where else are we going to go? Probably try and get ourselves a Birkin, but then, like, would, a, would Hermes be like, you've never brought anything from us, like, fuck off. I, I don't know, do they make exceptions for lottery winners, I don't know. Um, those are probably, like, what I would buy, designer-wise, and then I would literally just fly. Like, I would get on a flight, I would go to whatever country I really wanted to, like the Maldives or something, I would sit on a beautiful beach, I'd explore the world, and then while I was doing all of that, I'd be on the phone to my cousin, I'd be, and I'd be saying, buy me loads of houses, please, let's invest the money, let's start a business, let's, you know, buy houses, let's invest in hotels, let's invest in shares, let's buy stocks, you know, but I would, you know, probably take six months out, you know, take you guys on the best vlogs, Ever, buy myself a new bougie camera, buy myself, you know, kick myself out and we'd be off ski. And then I'd buy like a gorgeous home, get it all interiorly, interiorly designed, you know. Phone calls on the beach about, yeah, get this sofa, get that sofa. Guys, Ollie informs me that we've missed it. I thought there was boulder, sorry. Ollie informs me that we now actually had to be there for half seven. So did we get a fizzy drink? Oh yeah, I don't know where I put them. There, Dr Pepper. Ooh, lovely. Thank you. Did you get my SD card reader? Did you get the receipt? No, she didn't give me one. I hate to be that girl, but I just know that it might break. Like, I know what technology's like, and I hope that it doesn't break, but I'd just rather have the receipt to bring it back, because things like... Technology can just be, you know... Did you get one? Get a what? A receipt. No. Where is it? You don't need one. They said the email's enough, like I told you. Right, so last time I had to bring, what did I have to bring back? My hard drive. I had to prove my, because my hard drive broke. Right. I had to give I'm them a receipt. I'm pretty sure I remember going in there to get your She's hard drive. She's always gave me a receipt. Babe! Oh, no, 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 listen. I remember going in there with you to get your hard drive and you brought the hard drive in shop. Yeah, I did. Maybe it's different. Oh, if you ordered online. the first question they asked was, did you order it online? Oh, okay. Well, it's better to be safe than sorry, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. Got it! Yay! It's Florida. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, dear. <laughs> Poor, handsome and Gretchen's life. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can slide it. I think it's too dangerous to do that. Yeah, that looks nice. Oh, that did. Yeah. Right, then a trick. Now we need to get Santa in. Should we put Santa in his sleigh? Yeah, I should think it. so. Santa's sleigh's born. <laughs> <laughs> Santa's sleigh. Okay, the tree looks cute. Aww. You did the sleigh really well. Thanks. Oh, I thought I did. Oh, no, it's so thick. Why is the tree solid, but the... Yeah, and you, everything else in there. Where should we put the tree? I've got one there. The reindeers have died. <laughs> yeah, they're just not going to work, are they? They're not. Darcy, look what we did! Santa! <laughs> Paul? She's like, you've got to give me something <laughs> Oh, look at it! It actually looks so cute! <laughs> Angel, sorry it's a bit dark. Oh, that's okay. Sorry it's a bit dark. Excuse the absolute state of me. I am just coming on to end this vlog. Me and Amber did a ginger red haze, which you guys saw. It was so cute. Louie got it from Costco. So if any of you guys want like a cute one, really good. I'll insert some pictures too, but it's just really fun. We sat and did it. It took us a couple hours and it's really cute. So definitely you're signed to do a gingerbread with your friend, your sister, your boyfriend. Although I don't think my boyfriend would do one. But right, rope someone into doing it with you because it's really cute. But yeah, that was Vlogmas Day 9. I'm going to sit and edit this in the morning and get it up for you ASAP. So hope that this was a nice start to your Saturday and weekend. And I'll see you tomorrow for a very exciting and wholemas episode of Vlogmas. Good night. Thanks for watching.